Hey brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel. Brothers and sisters, uh, this is a, a very unplanned video, but I needed to come and share this with you right now as I'm going through it. So I don't take any words away from the Holy Spirit. So I was reading comments on the channel and I came across a, ch a comment by a sister, I think it's a sister called Mutamunta Mutsei, I'll put it up. And she says, I wonder if I made the right decision following the Lord. I feel like I'm not his type. I often feel like I'm forcing myself on him. And this truly just broke my heart. It broke my heart so much. And I wept because this morning I put on the chat we have with my mom and my sister, it's, it's uh, my, my, my aunt, where we pray. And I said to them, you know, I woke up and I heard my grandmother saying, which means, oh, this is what the words Jesus said on the cross when he was saying, oh God, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forgotten me? And to me, this hurt because you know my grandmother has always been a praying woman she raised me and all i can say when i think of my grandmother is my grandmother was a praying woman but when i look at the lives of her children when i look at her life sometimes like the sister i'm like why isn't her life a reflection of the prayers she's been praying why is there so much hardship, not only in her life, but in the lives of her children? And of late, I've been sometimes thinking, sometimes it's not about me. Sometimes it's not about you. Sometimes it's about the seeds you carry inside of you and the seeds that will come because of that seed. You see, I would have never thought I'd be in ministry but I attribute where I am to my grandmother. I know it's because of her prayers. I know it's because of her faith that I'm here. I know it's because of those prayers that I made it out of places I shouldn't have survived. And sometimes I look at my son and I say, Am I being blessed and protected because of this seed and what it's going to do? So I just want to say to you, my sister, and anybody else out there, that yes, sometimes you may feel like you don't see the evidence of what God is doing in your life. And that evidence or as anything is a sign to show that you pray and you pray to this God but know that just like a mother gets to carry a child for nine months and that child may end up being rebellious or that child may end up being living a life, whichever life. Know that sometimes it's because you are the chosen one. You are like the Mary. You get to carry a seed that's going to change, change the pattern. You are carrying generational change. Yes, it may be painful, but he chose you for a reason. He chose you for a reason. And I, I am that, I'm that reason. I know, I know my grandmother has not seen what I believe I would love for her to see. I pray, I continue like to pray now and say, God, please, I beg you preserve her let her get to see your hand and your face in her life before she leaves this world lord i know the reward is there waiting for her but can you please allow her to one day get to see me do something for her that is so amazing and she can remember one of those times when she prayed and she can say my god remembered me let her get to see my child do something so extraordinary and she gets to say this is why I labored and I prayed and I held on for so long. This hurt me so much and I don't have, I didn't have any other words than to want to say to her, sister, God chooses his warriors, God chooses his agents 
you are stronger than you could ever think you are mightier and the enemy is scared of people like you the fact that you would continue to feel like you're forcing yourself onto god it's because he wants you to feel like you are a reject all the time so that you don't get to bring the impact that he knows you will do have in his kingdom people like you are the ones who destroy the kingdom of the devil people like you birth seeds that transcend time so hold on in the mighty name of Jesus i pray that the light of god will be evident in your life don't measure what you are getting by the physical things my grandmother is truly a testimony of that it's painful it's painful but i tell you i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her i wouldn't be i was a worldly person i wouldn't be oh be blessed and whoever you are who needed to hear this god is working through you and with you in the mighty name of jesus amen